Listen to this episode if you feel like you are posting constantly, yet you aren't seeing the results or the growth that you wish to see in your product-based business. This is a question and a comment that I hear so often, and I know it can feel so incredibly frustrating. So let's dive in to what this means. Last week, or I guess on Tuesday, today's Friday, this episode is coming out. Our last episode, we talked about a sales breakdown. Now, this problem, right? right here can be kind of hard to diagnose without really seeing exactly on your profile if this is a marketing or a sales issue. Last week we talked a lot about, I guess last episode, we talked a lot about a sales breakdown. This is going to be a little bit more about a marketing breakdown and identifying where in that buying process it comes from. This was actually submitted by somebody named Carrie. She is a listener out there. Today is a Friday coaching sessions episode where I answer one of your exact questions. She said, I'm posting posting constantly, but still not growing. Giving some context, she said, I've been consistently creating content and putting myself out there for about six months. I just built my business six months ago, but I'm not seeing the growth or engagement I expected. It's frustrating to feel like I'm doing everything right, yet not getting the results I hoped for. I'm starting to wonder if there's something I'm missing or if I need to change my approach. I have about 700 people as followers and get a few sales a month, maybe. This is hard to diagnose without being able to see your profile or what you've been doing. Carrie, reach out and I'd be happy to take a peek at your profile if you want. But first things first, business is a skill set. She said she's been doing this for about six months. Unless you've built a business before, building a business is a little bit of a trial and error game. Uh, Building a business is a skill set. Like you need to understand what it takes to actually grow a business. This is why a lot of successful business owners had to have two, three, four, five successful businesses because they've done it once. They kind of understand the tactics, the strategies, the science that it takes in order to do what it takes, and then they can do it again. But if it's your first business, don't be hard on yourself if it isn't actually really working for you yet. If you're somebody that has not been exposed to a lot of businesses, it is inherently a skill set. And I know I say this a lot, but just as if you are, you are, you're starting a sport, you are learning an instrument, you're starting a new hobby, you can't expect to be really good at it right away. You do have to expect there to be Arlo, come, leave the thistles alone. They're owie. Come here. Hey. Good boy. Yeah, that's gonna hurt you, babe. That's gonna hurt you. You can't expect to be really good at it right away. And so it does take some time and some consistency in order to grow. But seeing you started your profile six months ago and you have 700 people, it seems like you are doing some things right. Um, First things first is I just want to say that I hear it so often when I do teach people the strategies and I'm inside of my programs helping people get to consistent sales, which is product to profit. Uh, So many people say, Maddie, I didn't even know like this existed. I didn't even know this was something that I needed to know. And there's so much of that out there in business. There's so much of that out there. It's like, I didn't know that this was even a thing because you've just never been exposed to it. Building a business really compounds on itself. When I speak about getting to the consistent sales mark, it takes more than just posting consistently. You need to really build on four major frameworks or four major platforms in order to get kind of to that consistent sales mark and have it really start happening for you. I teach these four major kind of pillars. You need to find the breakdown in these four pillars to identify why you're posting and why it's not working. And so I want to kind of go over what those four are. These are the four stages of getting you to consistent growth. This is also the framework that we teach inside of Product to Profit. This is what we do throughout the entire program, which is my signature sales system, which helps you get to consistent sales in 90 days. The first framework is pillars. It goes pillars, presence, people, profit. Pillars is all about the foundations of your brand. If your foundation is cracked, no matter how much you post, you really are going to struggle to make sales, struggle to get traction on your marketing. And this is where I start with every single client that is not yet to kind of that 50, 60, $100,000 a year mark. Because I go back down and I look at their foundations of their brand. I look at 
what it really means for them to be a brand. Who is your ideal customer? What is the meaning behind your brand? Do you have a branding? Are you, do you have branding? Do you have kind of a differentiator that is separating you from everybody else? Do you have a community focus at the core of your brand? If right now you were to come to me, Carrie, and you are just selling a general product, I would say we need to go back to your foundations and start here before you can really have presence. Too many people skip to step two, which is starting to build an online presence without really understanding who you're trying to attract or what you're trying to build. The second thing is, is presence, which is content. It's your profiles. It's your attraction. How can you get people to know who you are and really be able to like get in front of people. This is really just getting your business, your name, your idea in front of the right people. This breakdown comes down to content that is not getting views, followers that are are really struggling to gain traction. You can't really get out there to the right people. Um, The present side of things is really all about marketing. It's all about just really getting out there. You hear me talk about the seasons of business, the growing, the nurturing, and the selling. The presence is about the growing and the nurturing at the end of the day. People is kind of my bread and butter of what I teach is how you can build kind of that ride or die community around your brand on social media. People is all about community building. It's about engagement. It's about connection. It's about getting people so incredibly tapped into you. And without the proper foundations and without the proper presence and the connection to get out there, it doesn't matter how good your connection is, you need those two pieces. You can see how these things kind of compound on itself. And then last but not least is profit. Um, I guess a people breakdown is if you don't have any engagement, if you feel like nobody's really interested in what you have, you don't have people kind of raving about your brand. We talk about profit that comes down to sales. It comes down to successful launches. It comes down to emails. It comes down to your website. We talk a little bit more about sales and actually making that process. They are getting people to that consistent sales mark. That if you see a profit issue, you have people engaging on your social, your content is working, but nobody is actually buying. So Carrie, my question for you would be, do you feel like you have a pillars of presence of people or a profit breakdown? And something that a lot of people say is they say, Maddie, kind of all of it. Like, I don't really know who my business is. I just started posting, but my content isn't really performing. Therefore, people aren't really seeing what, who I am or what my business is all about. People aren't connecting with me and I'm not making sales. At that point, we need to go back to really look at your brand and start to develop a strategy. If I were to ask you right now, what strategy are you using for marketing? What strategy are you using for sales? Where, how, like, what are you following? And your answer is nothing. You're just kind of putting it out there, doing the wrong thing consistently, no matter how consistent you do it, doesn't mean it's finally going to work for you. Doesn't mean you can force it to convert. If you've been doing the same thing for six months and you haven't gotten any sales, you haven't really been growing, it's been incredibly stagnant, you have to change something. Something in what you're doing is not working. But Carrie, if you have 700 followers in six months, you're making a couple of sales a month, that means you're doing something right, but there is still a piece there that is missing. Um, Would love to take a look at your profile and kind of help you identify that. Any of you guys out here on Instagram, if that is something you're interested in, come on over, head over to my, um, my Instagram and just DM me podcast audit. And I will take a look at your profile and I'd be happy to kind of give you some examples here of what this looks like. Um, This is the framework that I teach inside of PTP is going you through this entire process to make sure that you have everything rock solid that you need to have consistent sales, daily sales, that hundred thousand dollar kind of mark. You have everything you need in order to hit that. Um, But a lot of times when people say they're doing everything and they still aren't getting results, that means that there is a breakdown in one of these four frameworks. It's not something that I can pinpoint without seeing it. I would say the average person starts right from the bottom at pillars. A lot of people, we are clarifying their foundations and then we're adding new things to their content. You are doing bits and pieces of all of these frameworks, right? But you need all of the elements to kind of come together for it to be that seamless ecosystem that somebody wants to buy from. Um, I would say the average person that comes into PTP is making constant content. Like they're putting content out there. It's just not converting to them. They feel like they just don't know how to leverage social media. They are doing all of the things. And it means that a little piece of all of this, some of you may have your pillars really set and it's just your content. 
content. You need to have seven types of content going out. You need to have a well balance of the topics you're talking about, of the visuals that you have. And it might sound like this is a lot, but what you need to do is you need to, once you have your pillar set, you're not really doing anything with those. Those are there. Your content is something that you are just constantly putting out, which this is not adding anything to your plate. You are already doing what you need to do. It's just making it more effective. It's making it actually convert for you. It's making every post you put out there get you closer to making sales, if not actually making sales. When you know why you're posting what you're posting, what to post in order to get what intention out of it, it allows for people to really start to see your profile and want to buy from you. It allows you to show up confidently. It allows you to create more content. It allows you to feel more confident in your business. And it's not really adding anything to your plate. It's really just shifting what you're currently doing to actually make it start working for you. And that's something that um, I think a lot of people have wrong is that, oh my gosh, I can't really do some of these new things because it's going to add so much to my plate. I'm so busy. No, no, no. You're already doing the things. You're already posting on stories. You're already posting reels. You're already making it. We have to shift your messaging. We have to add some deeper topics to what you're talking about in order to get people actually interested in the product that you have. So Carrie and anybody else out there that wants a podcast audit, feel free to reach out and just DM me on Instagram at this is Madison Page and say podcast audit. I'd be happy to kind of look at what I see your sales breakdown is. This is the framework inside of PTP. If you're interested in just learning how to do all of the things and really learn the sales psychology, the consumer behavior, the content strategy that really just allows you to be confident in how you're showing up and know that you're doing things the right way and know that you have everything in front of you to hit that six figure mark in your business product to profit is a perfect spot for you. You need to find the breakdown, make the changes and see if it helps. Or you can join product to profit and I can teach you all everything you need to know in those 90 days. We're working incredibly closely together. This isn't just, Hey, here's the info. This is me looking at your business, giving you a full custom growth plan. Are these are the things that you need to do in order to get to where you're trying to go. This is me and you workshopping for 90 days together. You have one-on-one calls, you have private messaging with me. If you've been listening to my podcast for months to years and you you hear me talk about PTP every three months, you hear me talk about it all the time, all the wins, you've heard all the client stories coming in and yet you haven't haven't joined PTP yet, it is a life-changing program. It does build that business brain inside of you that gives you the skill set in order to have a business that is flourishing and whatever business it is that you are trying to build, if you want to start a second, a third, you have such a strong business knowledge. That is what we teach inside of Product to Profit. Feel free to reach out with any questions. You can submit an application below. We start in the middle of September for our next round. There is early bird pricing for a short amount of time available right now. Would love to chat with you about that. Um, Otherwise, you can head on over to my Instagram at this is Madison Page and say PTP. And I would love to have that conversation with you there as well. I hope you have a wonderful day. I will chat with you very soon. If you want me to answer one of your business questions, you can click the link in the show notes that says submit a question. And I would love to answer it on one of my next Friday coaching sessions. Carrie, it's hard to give you a direct answer on this, but it is one of those four pillars. If you're struggling with all four, definitely you need to start looking at understanding some strategy. If you feel like you need some presence or your content isn't really performing, you need to start at the very basics of where it comes from. Don't be afraid to go back all the way to the foundations. It doesn't mean you're starting over. It just means that you are starting from the foundation of your brand to actually build something positive on top of it. I hope you have a great day. I hope this was helpful for you. I love you. I'm rooting for you and I'm in your corner always. I hope to see you guys in PTP if you are looking for a workshop and a supportive community to build your business.